Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today I am going to get the F ready. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Wow, it is the first time I'm speaking today. I literally just woke up and um, when I haven't talked yet during the day, I always end up being like blah, 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 blah. So this is generally setting myself up to fail. Cool. But today I am going to Odense to do my last talk in the book launch tour. And I'm super, super excited to go to Odense. We're going to have the event at Silo, which is a bulk store. And it's just going to be great. But of course I need to get my butt ready. So I thought I wanted to do a video where I talked about some of the products that I'm using and style and yadi da because I haven't talked about this in a really long time and I thought you guys might appreciate it. So that is what we're going to do. Also, I am here with my breakfast banana peanut butter chocolate smoothie because health yo. Okay, but let's get right into it. I'm just gonna do a little close up for my face so you can see me. Come on, that's better. Oh, and you can see my pimple as well. We're gonna cover her right up. But before we do anything else, I'm using this face oil. This one is from Isangs and it's really great. I have been loving the products from Isangs for a really long time. I think it was, I can't even get it open. Okay, there we go. I think I need some sort of applicator for this. Okay, one second. So good and prepared. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I just got a reusable cotton round because it's just easier to apply. Gonna do a little bit, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Oh, and the color, by the way, is gorgeous because it is infused with different flowers. So I really appreciate that. Um, but I think Isangs was one of the first zero waste products that I tried ever. I went to their store in Copenhagen in 2015. So right around the time where I transitioned into zero waste, I started talking about zero waste and it was so great. I think I have a video, like an ancient video, where I am going to Isangs. I can leave it down below if you want to watch some of the very, very first content that I did. I look a little bit different. Now you're being warned. <laughs> Actually, we can do hair while we wait. I washed it yesterday, which means that today it is completely bonkers and out of control. So we're going to see if we can do something there as well. By the way, I'm also using some hair oil for the tips. I really, really love this. It's from Living Naturally. By the way, I will of course leave all the products and everything you might be interested in down below. So if you want to know more about a specific product, go and check it out down below. So when applying my hair oil, I'm simply tipping it into my hand. Go. Oh yeah, that's the stuff, definitely. And I am going to brush it a little bit, but I only brush, I don't know if this is weird, or I don't like how my hair looks when it's completely brushed through. So I only brush like the very, very beginning of the hair. Now that we have some oil in this, we're just going to put it back up again, but just in a more sleek little bun down here. Regarding my hair routine, I have very, very few things that I do. I use some hair oil, I don't brush the middle of the hair, I dry my hair in a cotton t-shirt rather than a towel, and that is basically it. Like, I don't do a lot with my hair, but maybe I should start to, you know, put an effort into something, I don't know. Let's continue with this face though. <laughs> so now I am going to try and cover up some small red spots and areas that I have on my face before we're going to put on the rest of our makeup. Okay. I am using this concealer from VetShop. I've been using this for a really long time. It's really, really nice. And it looks like this. It does come with a little bit of plastic, but I think compared to other products, it's very, very minimal. And I really like the concept. So um, I'm just going to be using my fingy. It's, the formula itself is a little bit tough to get through. So usually I use the warmth of my hands to sort of warm it up and then I can apply it. And then I just use it sort of under my eyes because girl needs it. And then ooh, 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 ooh. on the nose, on the nose. I don't really prioritize completely full coverage for anything. I. I don't think that's necessary. I don't mind pe that people can see that I have skin and sometimes that skin changes and I don't necessarily want to tap into that ideology of 
looking completely perfect and snatched the entire time. Like, I don't care if people can see my flaws. But for like my own self being and for just a, a tiny boost of confidence, I like to minimize the amount of flaws that people can see. I hope that makes sense. So I don't mind that you can see it a little bit, but you know, like full blown sit. Mm, okay. Ba, 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 ba. Shortly after my concealer, I'm going to take my Elaine palette. This is what holds basically the rest of the makeup that I own. And we are going to go in with my powder. My powder is actually right now also from VetShop and I just took it out of its packaging and put it into the tin. And all of this is the lightest shade. By the way, the brush also, <laughs> didn't talk about the brush. I have had these brushes from So Eco for a really, 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 really long time. I think it was one of the first things that I got as a sponsor gift when I started blogging. And I have been using them ever since. I have never purchased a brush in my life because I don't, I don't know, at some point during my career as a blogger, everyone started to be really into brushes and I don't, I don't think that I, I don't think I ever got it really. So the brushes that I have now, I have three and I have had more before, uh, like from before I was zero waste. And those I gave to my mom and she loved them. So, um, now I just have these three and I wash them not as often as I should, but I try to. We're going to use this blush. This blush is from Elate, the ones that made the palette as well. And the cool thing about this palette, I think I've talked about it uh, a lot, so sorry. The palette is made from bamboo and this part is magnetic. So you can put any kind of small palette or thing or, you know, like small... You can put it on and then you can simply collect everything that you have together, which I think is so neat. Um, which is also a nice way of saving space, which I love. So we're just gonna do a little bit of blush to not look dead. To not, not, not look dead. Also, the funny thing is now I am sitting here and getting ready like it's nobody's business. But later today I'm going to have to take the train and I have to put on a face mask. And all of this will be for nothing. <laughs> cool. Okay. I think we got it. Before moving on with things from the palette, I have this tiny bit of highlighter. Now you're going to see like my sad makeup leftover collection. <laughs> this is super sad. Um, but this is a tiny bit of highlighter. I think I got this as a sample at some point and I simply just had it in this, <laughs> in this lid and then I've used it for long longer than I'm proud of. I don't even know if it still works. It's, it doesn't work a lot. This is sad. After they've watched this video, someone is going to start a petition to uh, get me a proper highlighter. I just know it. I don't know if the camera picks it up. I feel like I can see it. And that's enough. <laughs> okay, let's do brows. See, you might think, well, Gita, you have rather dark brows already, so what would you want to do? I like to use a little bit of this cream color as a filler, simply just to make them more uniform and simply just to cover these small bits and, yeah, you know, just to give them a little bit more shape. But we're not going to go in over everything and color them completely in because then they're going to be completely dark and people will always be at me in the comment section like, I hate your brows! I'm sorry! I hate you too! Ah. And I have this tiny brush. I'm doing like the classic YouTuber makeup guru thing. Ah. Um, this tiny brush is also from So Eco and it has this little angle. So I simply, you know, like, uh, have the angle of the brush parallel with the angle of my brow and I go back for a nice little curve. Maybe it's a little bit too dark. I don't mind. I like I like dark brows. So yeah, you know, there we go. So while my camera was overheating, I did the other brow. It looks insane right now, but we're going to put the last bits in and it's hopefully going to look better. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do, yeah, you know, let's do mascara first. The mascara is also from VetShop. Again, it does come with a little bit of plastic packaging and I have been looking into solid mascaras. And in the past, it hasn't been amazing, but I really want to try some other kinds to see if that works. So if you have any suggestions 
for solid or more sustainable mascaras, I would really love to hear you out. This, however, the formula is pretty sustainable and it's also vegan, cruelty-free and organic, so that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, it does come with packaging. But let's do mascara and I'm not going to be talking to you while I do this because ah, I see I did it. Ooh, there we go. This was the mascara, by the way. I don't think I gave you a proper shot of it. This is what it looks like. Now let's do lips. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, we are going to go back into the Elaine palette because here are the glare, the glare, the glare. We're going to go back into the Elaine palette because that holds my lipsticks and what I use to mix my lipsticks. And this is not generally a science, but this is something that has gotten a lot of people puzzled. So I'm going to show you now. I have two shades of lipstick. I have this shade and I have this shade. You know, I can also incorporate this as I'm feeling like super sassy, but this is like my nude shade and this is my pink shade. And then I mix them depending on what kind of shade that I want. I think I forgot to mention that when I got these small refills for the palette, they all came in this small paper packaging that was infused with seeds. So you could bury them outside and flowers and plants would grow. That was so, so cool. And the brush I'm using for this is, I don't even know where this is from. This is not a sustainably made brush. I think I've had this for ages, like very, very, very pre-zero waste. Let's do lips. Should we do a cool transition? Think that we should. I am going to do some uh, body preparation. We're going to do a little bit of stuff and we're going to find the outfit I'm wearing. See you guys in a second. Hi again. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of body moisturizing. We are going to be using my deodorant. This is from Zero Waste Puff. It looks like this. You press here. Da body boobity and it's a solid cream deodorant. I've really, really, really been liking this and I think this is the one that worked the greatest for me. And then I have my homemade body butter. This is something I made myself for the first time in 2015 and I've been remaking it ever since. I also have a recipe here in the blog if you're interested in learning how you can make this yourself. But we are going to use this. It's a little bit tough. So what I do is like I scrape my nail across like so, and then I distribute this in my hands and then on my body. So we're gonna do like this and make it all nice and soft. And let's see if we can find a way of doing this. Ah, yeah, this is perfect. Perfect angle. No, cinematic wonder. You're just, getting, you're just getting all the foot action. Okay, cinematic wonder. She's a professional YouTuber, would you know? I don't think so. I know I'm going to appreciate this moisture once I am in the train and the air is super dry. And now we're going to go in with the deodorant. Just, I'm really getting you guys just the entire get ready with me picture. That is what we did. You signed up for this and now you're getting it. Let's go find an outfit now, shall we? Something that is slightly professional and definitely comfortable. Hello, let's see what we have. I've already worn this, but I'm actually uh, thinking about wearing this again, simply because it's super, super, super comfortable. I recently got this shirt and it has small boobies on it. I think this is super, super cute. Ooh, yes. Also, I found this pastel blazer in a thrift shop and I don't know really how to style this in real life, but I'm just completely obsessed with this color and I don't have anything that matches. <laughs> So again, this is not for now, but this is a dress I found in the thrift shop and I'm going to wear this to a wedding in the winter and it's just so cool and embroidered and I love it. Also, I'm on some squeaky boards right now. So what I ended up wearing, and I really, really like this outfit, it has the perfect combination of cozy and classy. I have some secondhand heels. I got these off of a Danish secondhand site. I have some thrifted trousers. My shirts are thrifted as well. Both the beige t-shirt and the cardigan. These hair clips are thrifted as well. 
So is the bag. The jewellery are from a different places. These two here are from Black Buddha. And this is a new one I got from a small Instagram startup where they repurpose, I'm just gonna go closer so you can see it, where they repurpose glass found on the beach, which is pretty darn cool. So these are sort of like my three staples at the moment. And that is my outfit. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, if you're curious about some of the products, you can find the links to everything in the description down below. I hope that you really liked this video. And if you did, you can leave me a thumbs up. That would make my day. You can also leave a comment with your favorite syrup waste beauty tip and if you have any recommendations for me leave them down below as well i hope to see you guys in my next video take really good care of yourselves until next time bye thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my patreon supporters you guys help me create green zero waste contents and i love you guys you can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my patreon on this screen bye